Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Liv Thims. Today we're going to talk about the famous Evolution poster. Viewers can get copies of these at zazzle.com slash libthims. And I'm going to try to donate copies of these to local high schools and colleges around Chicago for the 2008 school year. Evolution in America is a difficult subject. According to 2009 polls, if you have a high school education or less, only 39% of people will believe that humans developed from other life forms. So these posters are a real nice visual way of understanding evolution. And what they show is the evolution or the development of the human being over the last 13.7 billion years from the subatomic particle precursors to atoms to small three element molecules to larger six element molecules such as coenzyme A pictured here to larger 15 element molecules such as a prokaryote or a colony of bacteria attached to the surface of the ocean to pre aquatic worms which developed 2.6 billion years ago to walking fish such as this catfish shown here which began to emerge 0 0.7 billion years ago to old world monkeys which evolved or began to emerge about 30 million years ago and human beings which evolved from all of these emerging out of the East African Rift Valley about 200,000 years ago. The left column shows the element count involved in each structure. The center column shows the molecular formula which are exact all the way up to coenzyme A and become approximate over here. In the early stages of the universe, things existed in a very condensed state, consisting of 16 unattached subatomic particles called fermions and gauge bosons. The top row, the fermions, generally consist, are considered the matter or mass portion of the universe. Electrons, electron neutrinos, up quark, down quark, muon, muon neutrino, charm quark, strange quark, tau, tau neutrino, top quark and bottom quark, generally increasing in size to the right. The second row shows the gauge bosons, which are the glue portion of the universe, or generally the four fundamental forces that which holds things together in the universe. Shown to the left is the gluon, photon, intermediate vector bosons, W and Z particles, which come in three forms, and the graviton, hypothetical particle which supposedly creeps the Earth in rotation about the Sun. In this early state, which existed at a temperature of 10 to the 30th degrees Kelvin, things were unattached but slowly began to cool and expand. After a few seconds of this early state, the first protons began to form, which consists, shown here, of two up quarks and one down quark attached by gluon bonds. The neutron, which is similar in shape, consists of two down quarks, one up quark attached by gluon bonds. By a temperature of 3000 degrees Kelvin, first atoms that form. Hydrogen in particular consists of one proton surrounded by one electron attached together through a photon bond. Larger, next largest atom 
helium-3, consisting of two protons and one neutron, had formed helium-4 and lithium. These four, these small atoms, soon thereafter began to form clouds which gravitationally contracted inward on themselves, formed the first stars. These first stars powered larger atoms through what's called hydrogen burning, where hydrogen and atoms react with each other, releasing photons in the process, forming larger atoms all the way, up in, all the way upwards in size to the iron atom, consisting of 26 protons. These early suns expanded, the universe, or these early suns exploded, the early universe expanded more, and soon more stars formed, powering the formation of larger atoms. By 4.6 billion years ago, the sun had formed. Soon thereafter, the earth formed in rotation about the sun. The sun burning hydrogen in its core released, began to release photons. Photons impacting on the surface of the earth began to power the formation of larger molecular structures. The photon having the effect of destabilizing an atom or molecule when it absorbs into the structure has the effect of, to force the molecule to find a new bonding configuration or to, which has the general effect to increase its structure, shown by the larger increase in molecular size. The six element molecule shown here is coenzyme A, consisting of 21 carbon atoms, 36 hydrogen atoms, 16 oxygen atoms, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. Pictured to the right here as a kinked molecule. By 3.85 billion years after the bang, 15 element molecular structures had formed through this same photon absorption process. The 15 element molecule shown here is bacteria, consisting of 10 to the 10th carbon atoms, hydrogen atoms, oxygen, nitrogen, and so on, down to cobalt. Over the next 1 billion years, bacteria growing in size form pre-aquatic worms. Pictured to the right here is tubers attached to the earth ocean floor in an aquatic environment. These early pre-aquatic worms slowly evolved into tube-shaped fish and then into anatomically modern fish. By 0 0.7 billion years ago fish began to walk on the shore such as this walking catfish pictured to the right. Walking fish slowly evolved into reptiles. Reptiles slowly evolved into old world monkeys. Old world monkeys by 30 million years ago would have consisted of a, or would have been defined as a 24 element molecular structure consisting of carbon on down to vanadium. By 0 0.2 million years ago, the anatomically modern human would have emerged out of the East African Rift Valley about 150,000 years ago, according to fossil record, and would have been a 26 element molecular structure consisting of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, calcium, potassium, chlorine, sodium, magnesium, iron, fluoride, zinc, silicon all the way down to vanadium, technically defined as a 26 element dynamic entity. And through this same process of photon absorption, the future for the human race has changed.